So then he says, خَلَقَ insan. My final words to you guys, inshaAllah ta'ala. I know I said final before. This is final, final. خَلَقَ insan. You know the word insan, Ibn al-Faris argued it could be two origins. It could be nasiya, means human beings are very forgetful. Or it could be from uns, which means human beings are very loving. Alligators are not very loving. Lions are not very loving. You know? Other animals, they have some love, but not like human beings. We can even show love to other animals. We can show love to other human beings. We can show love to strangers, right? We have that ability. So we have uns in us. They are wahsh and we are uns. So there's two meanings to the human being. One that we are forgetful and the second that we have what? Love. Allah chose this message perfectly for people who are forgetful. For people who are forgetful. Because when people forget, what do they need? Reminder. And one of the names of the Quran is reminder. In huwa illa dhikrun. Kalla innaha tazkira. Wa dhakir bil Quran man yakhafu wa'id. Quran is reminder because we are insan. So he says, I taught the Quran because you're insan. <laughs> you forget, that's why I gave you a reminder. You keep forgetting, so I keep reminding you over and over again. That's why I did that. Subhanallah. And the second is love. You, are, you don't just give love, you are looking for love. If you're looking for love and you have a hole in your heart that you need to fill, this word of Allah will fill it. This word of Allah will give you, you'll appreciate the love Allah has for you. The honor He's given us. How high His word is. وَكَلِمَةُ هِيَ الْعُلْيَا He says in Surah At-Tawbah. The word of Allah is the highest there is. There's nothing higher than the word of Allah. Al-Ulya, the super, superlative form is used. You know what that means? There's nothing higher than the word of Allah. And yet that word of Allah, anzalahu, he sent it down. Can you imagine? The highest thing was sent down. For who? For you and me. That's, that's, a, that's what you call a gift. I, I, I don't deserve that gift and you don't deserve that gift. That is an act of love of Allah. Who is going to accept that invitation from Allah? If Allah called Himself a teacher, who will refuse to be a student? You know? And if you start now, I don't care if you're 70 or 7, if you turn to Allah and say, Ya Allah, I want to learn your book. I want, you called yourself a teacher and I want, to, I want Ar-Rahman to be my teacher so I'm ready to be his student. Then it does not matter whether you know a little bit or you know a lot. Because you began with Ar-Rahman, there will be Barakah in your learning. And when there's barakah in your learning, you will learn like you have never learned before. Never. You are a bad student in mathematics. You are terrible in English class. You are horrible in history class. But when you turn to Allah's book and you want to learn Arabic, which is a complicated language. It's complicated. You want to learn tafsir and tajweed and memorize. If your intentions are, I want Allah's love and mercy, then Allah will open doors in your brain you didn't know existed and it'll become easy for you like nothing else. You know, in college, I was a terrible student. Terrible. I, I was a bad student. I, I used to have, I only signed up for the courses in college that my friend took because he would take the notes. I slept on his shoulder for four years. <laughs> you know, I also have a lot of elbow marks on my arm because he tried to wake me up. I was a terrible student. But when I started learning Quran, in Arabic, I did not have to review twice. I learned something once and it came in my head. It's not because I'm smart, because I know how dumb I am. I, I'm, a test I'm a witness to myself. Allah makes things easy. Allah makes it easy. We don't make that, make that easy. You make the intention and Allah will make that easy for you. This is the message I want to share with all of you, really. I want you to become students of this book. Students of this language. Don't be intimidated by it. Don't be intimidated by it.